you a good person? I guess we'll see when we're done here, huh? Yes, I'm a good person. I like to think so. And what about you? I think so. Well, do you think you'll enter heaven? Good question. Okay, let's put that to the test. How many lies have you told in your whole life? About a hundred. Thousands? Maybe about a million. About a billion? Too many to count. What do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. Definitely a liar. Have you ever stolen something? Never. It's not one of those lies, is it? Definitely not lying on that one. Yeah, sunglasses. You want to change your mind? Nope. Never taken music off the internet that wasn't yours? <laughs> now, have you ever used God's name in vain? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's called blasphemy. It's very serious. Yes, I have. You ever use God's name in vain? Yes, sir. What about you? Yes, sir. Multiple times. Oh, my. Uh, yes. We have to bleep you out. Because that's using God's name in vain, not giving it due honor, using it in place of a cuss word. It's called blasphemy. Did you know that? It's oh. very serious. Oh, okay. Now, Jesus said, if you look with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. He said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes. Yes, I do it all the time. Definitely. Huh? Yeah. I did this morning. I'm looking at a woman with lust right now. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> of course. Yes. Yeah, everyone does. Look right there. No. Are you homosexual? Oh, no. So here's a summation of your standing before God by your ambition. You're a lying thief and an adulterer at heart. So if you face God on judgment day and he judges you by the Ten Commandments, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Probably guilty. I'll probably be guilty. Well, the way you put it, guilty. I would be guilty of more than just those. Okay. Fornication, sex out of marriage? Yep. So guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. You, you're both right. If you died today and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell. My sister passed away yesterday, so believe me. Like I said, I had to go see her eventually. So would you go to heaven or hell? Um, I don't know. I don't believe in hell, though. So. Well, if I didn't believe in the electric chair and a judge sentenced me to the electric chair, it doesn't make any difference what I believe. And hell exists. If God is good, he must punish people like Hitler and rapists and thieves, but he's going to punish liars and blasphemers and fornicators. So you're in big trouble on Judgment Day. Very true. So does it concern you that if you died today, you'd end up in hell? No, a little bit. Now, do you both still think you're good people after looking at the Ten Commandments? I think I am. Deep down inside, I know I'm a good person. According to God's rules, I'm not. Yeah, sure. Guys, this is serious. Don't you realize we've just seen how wicked your heart is? You'd murder for money. You'd violate your conscience. You'd take another man's life. Still think you're a good person? No. Does it concern you that you'd end up in hell if you died today? It would concern me, yes. Do you know what God did for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Died on the cross. Okay, now, do you understand that? Yeah, he gave his life. But if you're a good person, you don't need his forgiveness, do you? That's why it's so important to acknowledge your sins and realize that your sins in God's eyes are very serious. Doing all the good works in the world won't wash away your sins. But there's good news. God provided a savior, Jesus of Nazareth, who suffered and died on the cross, so you wouldn't have to go to hell. But God can legally dismiss your case because your fine's been paid by Jesus 2,000 years ago. What you've got to do is repent and trust alone in Jesus. You know how you are trusting your own goodness? I'm a good person. Transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. God will give you everlasting life the second you do that, but you have to let go of your beloved sins. You have to turn from them. God can proclaim you innocent and righteous because your fine was paid for by another. God can let you live forever because of what Jesus did on the cross through his death and resurrection. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, now that's the issue we're talking about everlasting life. So if you want to trust in yourself and in your own goodness, you're going to be in trouble on Judgment Day because we know by God's standards you've really sinned really bad and you're under His wrath. But if you repent and trust in Jesus Christ, God will forgive every sin you've ever committed and grant you the gift of everlasting life. Does that make sense? Makes sense, yeah. Do you know what you have to do to receive that gift of everlasting life? No, don't. Repent and trust alone in Jesus. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. When do you think you're going to do that? Uh, when I pray tonight, I would do that right away. <laughs> right away? You mean that? Yes, of course. What say you die before tonight? Oh, wow. Then I guess when you leave, I'm going to pray. You going to think about this? Definitely. Actually, yeah. <laughs> so when are you going to repent and trust in Christ? I think pretty soon. Right now. You mean that? Yes. Yes, I do. When are you going to do that? Um, now. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Why not now? You could die in the next hour. Your heart could give out. I could die two seconds from now, so yeah, I should do it right now. Do Earlier it. the better. I'm going to think about this. Yeah. Please do. Do you have a Bible at home? Y yes, I do. What were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, I'm just as surprised that I ran into you today, you know? 
this make sense? It sure does, yes, sir. You have a Bible at home? Yep. Do you believe what I'm saying? I do. Eye opener. You're blowing my mind here, man. Changing my life here in 30 seconds.